Hey everyone, so it's my review of Legion, Season 2, Episode 6, called Chapter 14. And essentially what this episode is about is that, uh, it's just a whole episode about how David's life could have gone if he had made different choices in his life. And this was a really, really interesting episode that I really don't know how to explain it in that great of a detail. Or, like, really know what to say because of the fact that it was just... Like, I think, like, five different lives that it showed. Maybe even six, counting the real life that we've already introduced with David. Uh, and just, it was just really kind of confusing at some points to follow, uh, like, what sort of scenes connected back to which lives. And just, it was just really, really amazing to sort of see how they did make, like, these little connections of stuff back and forth between the laps, but also kept them very, very separate as well. Uh, and I guess the best way is to sort of break down each individual one. So like, one of the first ones that we're introduced to is him where he is this very prosperous and this very rich man, possibly even the richest man in the world, and uh, he chose all this wealth over having like a real life in a real relationship with his sister and stuff like that. And that was interesting with everything around that, especially in those sort of final scenes that you're induced with this really rich one. Uh, with the conversation between his sister and him, that you really see that there isn't anything there between the two of them. And then there's the homeless man one, who um, sort of is struggling and just has no one and just is completely taken over by his sickness and his illness and his mental problems and all that different stuff and just all that consumes his life and that's pretty much all there is to him is his illness and then everything with the one where he sort of is uh, very taken over by all the drugs trying to help with illness and those drugs and stuff sort of have consumed his life that he's basically a shell of a person and the problems sort of occur when there finally is the few moments where he encounters stuff when he hasn't taken his pill and just problems occur because of that and just that life was really interesting to see what happened if he would have stuck with his regimen and would have stuck with the pills and not actually gone to clockworks but stayed with his sister and all that different stuff was interesting with him sort of having a career and having this life with his sister and all that different stuff and then there was the life I believe if I remember right where it's the one that I really wish that they would have shown a bit more which was sort of like the drug addict sort of stuff where he didn't really stick with his regimen of drugs and he didn't go to clockworks and it's really not shown whether or not he had a relationship with his sister uh, but he's just the sort of David before he tried to kill himself and that one was interesting but like I said I wish they would have gotten into more detail with that with him sort of also being taken over by his disease a bit so he's talking about like the alternate timelines and stuff so he's sort of like the narrator kind of one I guess in the episode where he's talking about like how one decision could change your whole life and like when you make a decision like there is parallel world parallel worlds that sort of branch off from that and one world leads to this sort of lifestyle and one world leads to this lifestyle and all that different stuff and like I said I wish there would have been a bit more of him but I guess like I said he was the narrator so he wasn't that important for the episode and then there was the David that we saw who was the one that um, was more the one that we know where he lived the life that we've already seen from the past season and in this episode we got to see a bit more of that with um, his relationship with his sister and everything around that all eventually leading up to him arriving at Clockworks and just everything around that was interesting and then the overall scheme throughout each of the lives, I'm very curious and I'm really hopeful and I think that they are sort of leading to the fact of 
um, how in each of these lives he led a different life, but they all sort of led to the same sort of end of him eventually dying. And I'm very curious to know with um, the one life that he didn't die in, which is the one that we are currently watching him in, uh, whether or not that's all hinting towards that yes, by some point in this he's going to die. And that that's the best possible future for everyone is to have David dead. And then just also with the overall scheme of this episode, it really seemed like for the broader story of this whole season, this episode doesn't fully matter. Besides, like I said, maybe giving that hint of the possible future of David dying. Uh, but otherwise it didn't matter and I felt like it was more sort of like a thing inside of David's head with him sort of coming to terms with the fact that his sister is dead and his sister has been taken over by Lenny and that he needs to realize that and come to terms with that and that this is his fractured mind's way of sort of coming to terms with the fact that his sister's gone. And in that sort of way, this was a really sweet and a really great episode. Uh, but in the other sort of way, this episode really didn't matter that much to the broader storyline. But still, overall, this was a really, really great and a really, really nice episode that was so well done in having all these sort of turning parts and these confusing moments, but also still telling like this really great storyline in itself. So yeah, that's my review of Legion, season 2, episode 6, called Chapter 14. So yeah, bye!